Training your new staff members to do their jobs effectively from the start is a key method to avoid problems later. Staff who know what's expected of them from their first day on the job can perform more confidently and accurately. I'm Pat McCabe, and I'll be guiding you through this training. We all learn in the ways that are best suited to us. Most people have a preferred learning style or a combination of styles in which we best absorb information for a high level of comprehension and proficiency. For example, visual learners learn by seeing something done. Verbal learners like to be told how to do a task. For them, you can describe the steps and what the final outcome should be. Many people learn best through a combination of seeing and hearing. We are comfortable listening to directions and watching someone perform a task. That's for all of us who watch YouTube home improvement how-to videos. Those who like to get their hands busy with the task as you're demonstrating alongside them are experiential or kinesthetic learners. Some folks might want to read through directions about how to do some tasks, and reflective learners want to think about how to do a task. Are there some ways that you can adapt the delivery of information to your new staff to accommodate their preferred style? And please note, clearly preferred learning styles can be impacted by someone's language proficiency. For example, someone who speaks English as a second or third language, or their literacy levels, their abilities to read or write, or cultural norms. For these employees, experiment with how you explain and show them tasks. Orienting your new staff to your business and their job can prevent problems or misunderstandings later. Some suggestions. Show them the whole farm and introduce them to the rest of the team so that they have a sense of how they fit. Provide an overview of their tasks have them shadow another experienced crew member or yourself. Let them build confidence by successfully working on a project their first day. Connect their work to the whole business. What's the impact their role has on the overall operation? Show them the possible progression of responsibilities that they may move into once they've mastered the basics of the job. Back to the idea of utilizing your experienced staff members, if you have any, to train your new staff. This is a wonderful way to show appreciation for the skills your current staff members have developed on the job. Treat assigning someone to train new staff as a step up, maybe provide a bonus or some other extra benefit, and recognize the strong performance this person has delivered. One tip, during the season, as you see employees doing something effectively, try to capture a short video or photos of their technique and those can be used in future training. To set up the conditions to get your staff doing what you need them to do, deliver your information to them as clearly as possible and in the way that allows each of them to absorb it best. Check how well they understand the information by asking them to explain it back to you. Ask how they'll proceed with a task, what their steps will be as they start working on this new task. Describe the impact of their actions, why their work is part of the overall success of the business. Putting their work into the context of the big picture can motivate your staff to do their part well. If the farm has crew leaders, you can have those folks attend this part of the training or actually lead the training themselves. Once your staff begins working, observe how they dive into new tasks. When they're doing something well, reinforce this job performance by telling them they're doing something well and ask them to keep doing it that way. Provide corrections as needed, in private if possible. If it's not a safety concern, before pointing out a mistake, ask the staff to tell you why they're performing the task that way. See if they can find their own errors or find the preferred method themselves. This does two things, allows the staff member to self-identify problems and allows them to demonstrate that they understand the proper methods. Reward or acknowledge staff members individually to motivate someone's great work. If your staff work as teams, consider recognizing a team for their shared accomplishments. Switch it up to see what works best. One tip, try to be prepared for an employee that might actually come up with a better way to do something. Always check, is their way of doing something getting the desired result? And that's the end of this lesson.